Next up tonight, we have the second of our Ireland versus Thailand bouts. Craig O'Flynn from Ireland against Pratwang Chanrang from Thailand. Five by two minute rounds under full Muay Thai rules. Knees and elbows allowed to the head. Let's rejoin our commentators ringside. Joined here by Master Scan. Master Scan's going to pronounce a tie because I don't want to insult him by doing it wrong. <laughs> here we go. I'll get him some kid. Okay, come from Petbury. Okay, which is uh, very close to Bangkok. Okay, he had a, a record of 65 fight, uh, 47 win, two draw. Okay, the 10 loss. Okay, he's still okay, 20, 27 years of age. Craig O'Flynn, incidentally, lives in Thailand, uh, has lived in Thailand, trained in Thailand also. He's the Irish champion, he was the Five Nations champion, and he's a Commonwealth Muay Thai champion. I also know Master Skenny for Southpaw. Uh, and I look at him, he looked very strong. Okay, then, uh, that means very well trained, well uh, prepared. And I heard that he'd been uh, training in Thailand. And um, he training the over 10 years, okay, and uh, Training in Thailand at uh, Bangkok gym. Okay, the name uh, Sasi Papa. Okay, gym, and that's it. A lot of experience, and uh, this will be a good match. And uh, if, okay, the, um, uh, the Thai some kid, okay, bring the fight to him, and uh, hopefully we can see the good fight. Okay, Cra the last fight of the night. Craig, yeah, last fight of the night. Craig's also beat some British people. He's beat um, James Budgie Burgess, who's a uh, fighter from the. Uh, Good camp of Dave Jackson there in Warrington. He's also for Leroy Atkinson, an old veteran, not old, but he's a veteran of Muay Thai when he was training with Pelly, and he's got his own club there in Sale. Here we go, round one. Yeah, Craig O'Flynn is a southpaw. Uh, both of them the same experience, and then, then hopefully we see the uh, good fight as well. The final fight of the night. Very calm start to the beginning of the fight. We'll find each other up, seeing what each other's got. Boy, a kick there by the time, very sharp. Craig there, still calm. The tie there, trying to... This is a very early first round, and uh, they try to test each other out, so... Well, what, uh, we, uh, who got what, oh. okay? And then they exchange the kick, and uh, Craig often is bring the fight to, to the tie. And uh, too low kick. Yeah. Why, wouldn't they, why wouldn't they start fast, Master Scanners? Because it takes its toll on you in the later rounds, or...? Yeah, it is a five, three-minute round. It's a very long time, and if you, you try to burn yourself off from the first round, and... Uh, uh, you wouldn't have any energy, energy up, you know, but to later round. And the Thai is more counter-attack fighter. And normally you will see the Thai go forward, and at the moment he's, he's stand waiting for Craig to come at him. So he do the counter, and it's quite dangerous high kick. And if Craig not careful, he, he right high kick to the neck could be a dangerous yeah, kick. Yeah, his hands seem to be very low. Yeah, he had quite for low. A, for a Thai-trained fighter, at least. Maybe that's his plan. Oh, I don't know, because I'm not in there, but... I'm sure he's got a plan, because you have to have to fight one of these fellas. Very, very cautious start for the first round. Showing the experience. Right there with a little grin on his face. Oh. Definitely Ty is the kicker, no, not the boxer. He, he didn't box very well. And uh, he threw the punch and swing and uh, openly, so he's uh, not composed with the boxing at all. Ooh. But say again, the kick. There's that right, head, there's that, there's that right high kick you yeah. spoke about, Master Scan. Yeah. The Ty not happy and with that. I, Tempted knee to the face. Yeah. <laughs> and Craig was uh, follow up with the knee, so he worked very well, but he got nearly got the high kick knockout there. Who's uh, took that round, Master Scan? 
Uh, I think pretty even, so I don't see much there between them. And uh, I still keep pretty even round there. Okay, okay, so that's a pretty even round there. It's uh, been a quiet one, but I'm sure it's going to hot up because it's all been good today. What would you advise to Craig, we must again? I think the one here to the Kibi Kata. <laughs> okay, because gonna heard that a few uh, times. Get, a few uh, muscles get high kick. <laughs> and uh, so important in Muay Thai, you, you and I bet you the fights are very good with elbow. I didn't see it. It is say Fu Tai Ru, but I didn't see any of them use elbow at all. I think if you say Fu Tai Ru, then you need to move uh, in close now, start uh, throw some elbow because that's the most dangerous technique of Muay Thai and also through identity of Muay Thai. Is that because it can cut and your muscle skin or very quickly knock, out or knock out? And very close, very hard to see, very hard to defend. How do you condition yourself elbow. to do elbow muscle skin? Well, you have to train to, uh, you know, with a hard back and also with a uh, focus and a pad at all time. And also free sparring. And then the condition is not just to come from the body, from the mind, that you can actually, uh, you know, accept the pain. You know that the Muay Thai is fight uh, can take punishment and yeah. give uh, punishment to your opponent. So you got to learn to accept it. See Craig, can he do a warning from here and keep his guard up? Let's have a look. Well, we'll just have to see. It might work for Craig. Nice staying on them ropes. Yeah, it's more counter, uh, counter fighter. He, he let uh, his opponent strike and then he wait for the mistake. When he break, he made a mistake and he will throw the technique. You're yeah, going to see he get used, he comfortable with uh, the rope. He uses. Oh, oh that's, elbow there, we've seen that. That's why I'm saying that he will oh. throw the elbow because Craig is still can box, but a Thai is not a very good boxer, but he will, oh. he will he counter with the elbow. Craig uses his experience there, the Thai is not happy at all. See them elbows once again talk to out of that high kick coming out. It could be good night, Craig, but we'll just see. Yeah. Oh, okay. you're right. Oh. But Craig, more stronger boxer, so very he, quick he hands, Craig. He tried to box him, and a tie, very dangerous with elbow and uh, knee. And if a tie use more often, I think he can cut uh, Craig with the right elbow. And uh, again, Craig so quick, he hit and move out. Okay, so I think he tried to save himself that way. Yeah, we've seen the first fight with the tie and with a uh, knee to the face. Be it accidental or not, but it happened. Just, oh, this one doesn't end with a cut. Oh, some great punches by Craig, got the tie on the ropes. Yeah, I think the tie um, can't handle the can't handle the boxing from Craig, and but he could the counter with kick and uh, and if if a tie don't counter sharp enough, and that way Craig will get through him. Yeah, it's a very very dangerous puncher. Craig's showing his experience, isn't he, Master Scan, yeah. by not rushing in or being. Yeah crazy or anything like that, he's showing his techniques, he's showing his hand he speed. He quite composed himself and I tried to control the fight and bring the fight to the tie. And as a tie, just have to be careful with the punch because uh, Craig very strong with punch. He doesn't seem to like the boxing master skin, he's no. going to his eye. Hey, oh, there he is again, Craig's a strong lad. See, a lot of time fighters believe in the elbow so much or, or knee or kick with Muay Thai, but don't practice their hand it up, so therefore, and then go into uh, Western fighter because they, they box very well. Yeah. So the Thai fighter have to wake up, learn how to, to yep. box as well. No be ruled. Oh, spinning elbow there by Craig. You see Classical technique nice that must have But did go through it, but uh, that very good uh, reverse elbow. Showing his confidence there. Yeah, that's the Even in the second he round. Bring the fight to the Thai now. And the Thai fighter should bring the fight to Craig because then, then you, you can control the fight uh, quickly. If you don't, and then you can get more get serious injury if you, you don't bring the fight to, to, to Craig. I'll tell you what Craig, oh a great right left cross there, it didn't seem to shake the tie but yeah. he threw it. Good shit, good but, uh, Oh yeah, definitely. I think uh, Craig at the moment uh, ahead on point. Right, and, okay. uh, But the tie could counter, he, he just coached with the, with the, uh, with the boxing. Okay. <laughs> and a tie fighter don't, don't, don't defend boxing very well, but if he used elbow, and uh, counter with the boxing, I think he will, he will succeed. Yeah, so anyone interested out there wants to start Muay Thai, I'm sure there'll be a... It's Thai boxing clubs all over this country now. Yes, this is Muay Thai became a very popular sport now, and uh, if you want to train Muay Thai anywhere in the United Kingdom, okay, you can uh, 
uh, can fight in nearly every sport setting now. A, very, a lot of full time team, a lot of uh, 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 class in the, in the sport center. And I believe that the uh, point high now and uh, became very, very popular. Yeah, it's very, and very uh, popular. I'm quite certain that it will become the most uh, spectacular sport uh, in the ring. Yeah, it's become very popular with the Taibo as well. Even though that's not Muay Thai, but still, <laughs> people are still taking yeah. it on board. Yeah, <laughs> okay, we're into round three. Another Thai corner is telling him to use the elbow. Okay, they just join us. Okay, the red corner Craig Oflin and uh, the Thai. Okay, the Sophia, okay, from Thailand, the blue corner. And a white trunk with the uh, blue, dark blue stripe. Also, you can see the clothes. Yeah, the Thai is that, that thinking, oh, have to fight back now. Yeah, because, he's uh, definitely thinking he's going to have a scrap. Uh, uh, Craig bring the fight to him all the time. Ooh, you can see, he threw the elbow. I think he will. And if he caught, he can't control, can put the game. At the end of the game. But Craig, oh, oh, good kick Craig very dangerous with a, with, a, with a punch. Craig can a, kick as well. Craig's but, uh, a good fighter, isn't he, Masters? Yeah. Oh, good shots by Craig yeah. there. Wobbled the tie. Fantastic good knees. Boxing. Very, very nice. Oh, he's showing his talent now. Yeah, the the Thai's in trouble there, Masters. Go. Brought him chin, uh, to the chin very well, and uh, Craig, very strong puncher. He doesn't like them shots. No, and uh, that's why I said earlier, Craig, very strong and uh, boxing. And he's not rushing any, but that's standard no. of a good fighter. Oh! And the Thai is uh, can take punishment. You know, they the train so condition well, and then they choke it up for 10 seconds. And the moment, Thai seems to recover. Oh yeah, very, very strong, lad. Craig's shown his experience by not rushing in, not getting sloppy. Turning out to be a very good fight. Good for the viewers. I said Thai is going to uh, too much backwards. You have to bring the fight oh. to him. Oh! Oh! Yeah. If he he, he stands uh, for Craig, Craig will box him out. At the moment, he's in trouble now. He can't move off the ropes of Thai. The way he stood, Craig keeps coming forward with shots. He oh, yeah. he's got him again! He's got him again! Good right hook there by Craig. The tie is wobbled there. The tie is wobbled. Craig uh, boxing very strong. Very, very good, Craig. I've and never he, seen him before, but I hope to see him again. <laughs> really good. What a good fighter he is. Yeah, the Thai, I think he's, he's not fighting back now. He will get no Craig out. will catch him. Craig yeah. will catch him. And instead he of exchange with the elbow. Oh, good shot. Yeah. He's down. He cannot fight off them ropes, and he's done it. Yeah, Craig has knocked it. out okay. the Thai. That is fantastic for England. Strong. Hope the tie's uh, all right. But actually, what for Ireland. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Ireland. No, he's not. Oh, well, we should move him over here because what a good fighter he is. Fantastic fighter he is. I've never seen him before, as I said, and I don't think Master Scan has, but he's a good fighter. I've seen him for a long time going early day, but it seems to improve so well now. Strong puncher, and that was my prediction. The tie didn't know how to handle with the boxing. So if he can exchange uh, with Craig with elbow, he would have... Uh, he could have won that. Oh yeah, fantastic fight though. It was good for, uh, let's say, the United Kingdom then. <laughs> instead, of, uh, <laughs> instead of trying to get him to have a British passport already. But Craig is a credit to his country and he's a credit to us because we enjoyed watching him. Yeah, that, that's why I said to so many towns that uh, the Thai fighter have to wake up now because the uh, most efficient uh, fighter can box and can box very well and a strong uh, puncher. And if you're not careful, that's how you get knocked out. Yeah. Very, very good fight, that. Yeah. Very, okay. very sharp hand. I so hope you enjoyed the fight. And, uh, Thank you, Masters, again for your expertise. Okay. And um, thanks, Winnie. Yeah, and, and uh, you, sir. Well no doubt. I'll see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stops the contest in the third round. The winner, Craig O'Quinn. Oh, oh, yeah. Well done, Craig. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done. Craig, fantastic. You ended the show with a, a fantastic knockout. How did you feel in there? Not too bad, fairly comfortable. Just starting to get going in the third round. Starting to get going? Flipping heck, I don't like to start to get going in the, in the fourth and the fifth rounds. He seemed to uh, be able to box a lot the Thai wanted to kick you in, but you seemed to have the measure of him. Was that, was that because you trained in Thailand or because you knew what you were doing? More so than you were doing. Every fight is different. Right. Different opponents, different things, different techniques. Right. What works for one doesn't work for the other. So you got to learn everything and then pick on the day whatever's working. What's next? Uh, hopefully a crack of the world title in Thailand. I go back. And when will that be? Wait on the day. Wait on the day. Wait and worry.
ちゃうと。